It may be hard to believe, but it sounds like something straight out of sci-fi. A naval ship quietly zapping enemy drones and missiles with a laser. It's an awesome idea, and it's why the US Navy is so keen on directed energy weapons. Systems like Laser Weapon Systems, or LAWS, is already being tested. Some have even been deployed on ships like the USS Preble. That's the dream, especially against those annoying cheap drone swarms. But here's the scoop. Getting these lasers onto every ship isn't happening quite yet. The biggest headache, believe it or not, comes down to power and plumbing. We call it the SWA PC Challenge. Size, weight, power, and cooling. To actually vaporize a fast-moving threat, that laser needs a ton of energy, like 150 kilowatts or more. Current destroyers just don't have enough spare juice. They weren't built with a futuristic power plant in mind. And more, all that intense energy production generates massive heat. Cramming these giant power generators and coolers into a warship's already tight quarters is a monumental engineering feat. Next up, the ocean itself fights the laser. A beam of light is super sensitive to what it travels through. Out at sea, you have constant moisture, salt spray, thick fog, rain, and heat shimmer. These factors scatter the laser's energy, making the beam wimpy before it even reaches the target. This phenomenon, known as atmospheric blooming, means a laser that can vaporize a target on a clear, calm day might only be able to temporarily blind a sensor on a humid one. The Navy has to design crazy smart beam control systems that can instantly fix these distortions, and that's a tough job. Another critical problem is making the laser talk to the ship's brain. Earlier test lasers were just bolt-on gadgets, completely separate from the ship's main combat system. But for a laser to be a real defender, it needs to be fully integrated. Getting the laser's software and hardware to flawlessly work within the massive, complex Aegis network is a huge step that takes serious time and testing. 